we are you know, seeing the uh, dawn of new uh, industry. So it's not just for gamers, but it's also for you know, literally everybody who is you know, connected to the PlayStation brand. The thing we want to do more than anything else is get people to forget that they're in VR. It's really like a lot of different possibilities for gameplay exploration that hasn't really been explored yet. Technical uh, advancement helps game creators to come up with some you know, totally new experiences. The stars have aligned in terms of technology for VR, so you know, screens are really good now, uh, the, the latency is down, the, the computation power is up, and all these things have kind of come together to mean that we can make uh, VR headsets like Morpheus that really work. We've made a demo that runs 120 frames a second you know, natively and you can, when you move around you can really feel like it's so smooth. Not only is the whole depth perception better because it's all head tracked and it's rendered from the correct viewpoint, but also you have agency inside the world so you can actually look around and sort of you know, direct your own experience in a way that is even difficult in a traditional game. On one hand, on one hand you've, got, you've got the move controller, so you've seen you know, the highest demos and, and on, the, on the other side you can also use Shock 4. So we have these two options and depending on the game that people make, you know, they, they might choose one or the other. The two are very complementary. The next generation that we showed uh, you know, earlier this year, just even better. I mean, a brilliant screen. Um, it's very comfortable. You know, the weight distribution around your head, all those sort of practical things really, really improve. Moving to OLED, that's been a big difference too. So now the demos we had before running on LCD, we were kind of getting used to them. Uh, but uh, the moment we kind of switched, it was like, wow. We've had to think from the ground up and design from the ground up for virtual reality experiences. So instead of using a traditional FPS control system on a DualShock, for example, uh, we're in the heist, we're using two move controllers. And you're actually in there, actually shooting baddies, looking around, one-to-one -one relationship with your hands and the environment. In 20 years, I've, haven't, you know, I've felt loads of great moments, of course. But the one time when I felt like the same thing all over again was the time that we, you know, we tried VR. But you've got to try it to realize, and that's one of the big challenges we have. Because when you talk about it or when you show, you show it on the screen, of course, people can sort of imagine. But actually, there is nothing like trying it. There's a lot of exciting possibilities to kind of present worlds that feel realistic but are completely not like anything you could actually experience in real life. So I think that's, that's my hope for, for the project. Innovation is in the DNA of PlayStation. If we just stood still, I think half the people wouldn't be here. You know, they're here because they love innovating, finding new experiences. We are uh, here to entertain people, and uh, uh, we cannot do so uh, without uh, trying out new ideas.